Good evening, how are you? Guys, I'd like to thank you all for coming tonight. Your kids and students have worked so hard over the past 19 weeks on this project with many local artists and local partners to make this exhibition happen and make their student, their student work actually happen. The Ion Design program was modeled on a program for adults that was produced and presented by the Cooper Hewitt Museum, one of the Smithsonian Institution Museums that's located in New York City. When we learned about it, we decided that it would be possible to present a similar program for children. And we especially are working with third grade students in the Long Beach Unified School District and selected to take this design and public art program to the third grade students in Long Beach. The ION Design program is actually a three year program. The first part the first year is a planning session and an entire year is spent gathering community partners, gathering um, the artists, gathering the sites that will be studied, and making up the uh, workbooks that, is that are used by the children, bringing them together with the teachers and the schools that we'll be working with, and then moving forward into year two which is culminating, as you can see and hear, uh, this evening with an exhibition. They meet two hours each week with an artist for 19 weeks. This is a very in-depth program that enables children to explore their own neighborhoods, to see the iconic cultural landscape of their neighborhood, and to get acquainted with um, the idea and the principles of visual art and of public art. The children then design in teams. They're, they each divide into teams of four or five children. They develop a concept for a public art work that they propose to improve their neighborhood. And then just as actual public art as artists do, they then go in front of a panel, they make the case for the production and the fabrication of their work of art, and one work is selected as a result of that competition. What is exhibited here in the Long Beach Museum of Art Children's Gallery are some of the samples of their work that led up to this, the models of the six proposals, and the art and of the one that is actually going to be replicated, fabricated, and inspired to, by this work. We met uh, with each group once a week for two hours. I have the pleasure of working with uh, four different groups of four children per group, all third grade at Burbank Elementary. And um, of, of course, uh, it was thrilling that we got to be, I had two finalists. Uh, two of my groups were actually uh, finalists in the decision making. And then um, our, our group here with Tiffany was, was the group that was picked. Uh, as, as the, the model that was going to get made. We um, talked to each other and we decided um, to work with the project. And so we keep on going and everything came out right and we liked it um, a lot. Do you remember what we did first? What was the very first thing that we did the first week that we got to meet? Yes, we, um, you remember we took a little field trip? Oh yeah, we took a little field trip to the park and we walked around and then we talked to each other and we wrote our, our ideas on the workbook and then when we started doing the project we got all our ideas out of the workbook and we did this, the project. Ion Design's been a really extraordinary program this year. We've had so much teacher praise of the program. Um, 
just a personal story. I've had several teachers come up to me and tell me how um, much students utilize the vocabulary in the program. They bring up words like aesthetic and not functional when they're talking about art. They also talk about the difference between kinetic and static art, which for third graders, eight and nine, year old, nine years old, you wouldn't think they would have such a concept of. And one of the reasons for this is actually because the program is such an extended program with 19 full weeks in the classroom, two hours each week for each of the, of the students to really absorb the concepts of their community and neighborhood of public art and design. We're really fortunate each week, um, either the artist, the resident artist leads uh, an art lesson or they teach about design. Uh, we also have guest speakers, architects that come into the room and talk to kids. We have a public art, art director who comes in and talks about public art. And so overall, the program really encourages students to learn and look more closely at the neighborhood that they walk and pass by between their house and school every single day. So that as we get up to these po public art proposals that are sent in the, that are uh, established in the last eight weeks of the program, kids really have a good idea of how they might want to change their neighborhood. You know, I, I have been uh, watching this as it's come along and as the project has continued to grow and certainly been having updates on it as it was happening. But I really am thrilled and really pleasantly, pleasantly surprised to come into this wonderful gallery. Uh, the Toyota's Children's Gallery, year-round, we try to show the work from workshops happening within the city and workshops from the museum, but also uh, those that are happening within the school district. And this is one of those projects that we've been chomping at the bit to be able to actually exhibit. It's so beautiful. The execution of it, the whole concept behind of it, uh, it's really, just really exciting. And as this was being installed, I ran over numerous times during the days to watch this come together. And it's, it's really exciting. And it's really exciting to see this kind of uh, outpouring from the community and this kind of energy happening on this level with this sophisticated of a project because it's uh, it is quite sophisticated a project and, but we're thrilled to have it here thrilled to be able to show it and it's uh, what a perfect place for it and not the museum